All right. So let's look at what your kit. You bought your kit. You bring it home. Let's see what you got here. As we open it up, you'll see there are some instructions. We'll just set that out of the way. Included in your kit is your first bottle of juice, e-liquid. We'll set that there. You have a battery. This is now the 1100 milliamp uh, battery. You have your atomizer cartridge. And you have a squeeze bottle. This is if some of the juices that you get come with a blunt tip. So this bottle is included. You'll notice it has a nice pointed tip. Makes it easy when you go to fill your cartomizer. You have a USB connector. And we'll get into that in a minute. As well as the wall charger for the USB connection. Okay, so let's go over a few things. When you go to charge your battery, you plug the USB port like so. Plug this into the wall. Then on this, you'll notice there's a little light right here at the top. When you first plug it into the wall, it'll be green. When you put your battery, you screw it finger tight. Don't over tighten it. This light will flash. This green light will change red, showing that it's charging. At the end of the cycle, when it's fully charged, it'll turn green. Then you just take the battery off. Now, let's explain something about your battery. This battery is activated with five rapid pulse, rapid pushes. So what you do is just push on it five times fast. One, two, three, four, five. You'll notice it blinks. That acknowledges now. When you touch it, well, that just turned it off. One, two, three, four, five. Blinks a couple of times. That way, when you touch it, see how it lights up? That's on. To shut the battery off, hit it five times fast again. One, two, three, four, five. You'll get the acknowledgement. Now, when you touch it, it's off. That's how to turn your battery on and off. Now, one thing I will explain if you put this in your pocket, or uh, I had one customer who came in, told me he had put it in his golf cart, in his golf bag, and he had forgotten to turn it off. Well, when he reached in and took his e-cigarette out and put it to his lips, the tip was so hot it burned his lips because the battery was pressed and it was left on. So, always a good idea to shut off your battery when it's not in use. Now. You'll notice with this cartomizer, the top is, you just unscrew it, it's finger tight. And as you take it off, notice there is a little O-ring here. And you want to make sure that O-ring stays there so that it doesn't leak. If you look inside, you'll see in the very center of the hole, there's a smaller hole. That's your airway, and you want to avoid your juice going down that airway. Okay. Now with this particular cartomizer, you can change the coil. And let me explain how this works. You'll again notice there's a seal here and a seal here down on the bottom. You always want to be sure that those seals are in place. This top section that has the wicking coming out is your heating coil and it's just screwed on their finger tight. Now if you ever need to replace your coils, these are replaceable. Okay, Inside where this wick goes across there's some wire and what happens is when you hit the battery and turn it on it heats up the coil in here and that's what creates the vapor. You draw in, there's an airway that comes through here and the air goes through and the vapor comes up through your tip. These coils will last generally about a month if you take care of it. 
The thing is, don't let your wicks get dry. Always keep your wick wet. Put this back. Screw it down again. Finger tight, but fairly snug. You don't want to have any leakage. Then, when you're ready to fill your cartomizer, you notice this does have a blunt tip. But it's still not bad, because what you do is you hold the cartomizer at a 45 degree angle and then you just dribble it down the inside and I don't want to fill this right now but let me show you with this needle type let's see if I can get a better picture you'll notice as the needle goes in notice where it's at against the cartomizer down along that edge wall and the fluid would dribble down until it comes up to about this level where that rubber grommet is that would fill it up once it's filled put your tip back in make it finger tight and what I suggest for people to do is just in case any fluid got into the airway blow down the cartomizer into either your hand or against a paper towel and clear the airway then set it aside for about a minute or two and let the juice soak into the wick. You want to make sure your wick is wet so that when you put the power to it, it doesn't toast the wick up and give a burnt taste in your mouth. If you get to the point where you taste it kind of burnt, check your wick, maybe roll it around, make sure it gets good and wet, and then try hitting on it. And there you have your new e-cigarette and you'll be ready to go.